Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel. Peter Likes Books. Okay, it is uh, Thursday. So we have Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, oh my god, and then the book two with starts on Sunday night at midnight. I am so excited, you guys. Um, it is, I wanted to kind of talk about my experience last year for anybody that's doing this for the first time, or maybe somebody could give me some advice as well on like what Booktubeathon meant to, or yeah, what Booktubeathon last year meant to me, how I prepared for it, and all the stuff that happened. And um, because it's kind of an endearing story, honestly. You know, I've shared on my, I'm taking my shoes off. I'm taking my uh, Birkenstock sandals off because my, I just knocked the light. Um, anyway, I, uh, I have loved to read my entire life. And I have to say that when I was growing up, reading was not super popular, you know? Like, none of my friends read. They always kind of were like, why do you always have your nose in a book? I don't think it's necessarily like that today, although I do think that we're an athletic world. But I know lots of athletes growing up today that love to read. And I think that reading is really a little bit more embraced than it was when I was growing up, because people would always say, oh, you're a nerd because you like to read. But my grades did not reflect that, <laughs> let me just tell you. So, you know, um, last year when I started BookTube, I was so excited to just be part of this community and be talking to all these people and reaching out and saying, hey, let's do a buddy reads and all this kind of stuff. And um, it was just like the coolest experience for me. And then when I found out about Booktubeathon, I was like, oh my God, what is it? Like you guys, I literally had no idea what a readathon was until I got on BookTube. And I mean, once you're in it for a while, it just seems like the back of your hand. So it's like, how would you not know about a readathon? But I didn't. And I, when I heard about it, I was like, oh my God, I was so excited. And Errol Bassett was one of my favorite booktubers at that point anyway. I think she's just fantastic. And um, so I just, it's her passion about this just got me even more excited. And if you go back and you watch my videos from before Booktubeathon last year, like I really had no idea what I was getting into and um, how exciting and how cool the Twitter runs are and all that kind of stuff. And um, so if you're thinking about doing it, you still have three days. It's not too late, okay? You can do it, start a day late if you have to, you know? But anyway, I kind of had this weird moment like that Sunday night, I don't know why, like that Saturday we had gone out to dinner, my husband and I with some friends, and they're like, oh, are you guys, do you have any vacations coming up, or is there anything you're excited about? And I said, yeah, I'm really excited about Booktubeathon, it starts tomorrow night. We were like with four other couples, and they're like, what's Booktubeathon? And I was kind of like explaining it to them, and like, you could tell nobody was real impressed by Booktubeathon, you know? Like, they were all kind of like, oh, really? But, like, are you, you know, <laughs> going to the south of France or Miami or Vegas? And we're going to a pool party in Vegas, you know? And I was like, no, Booktubeathon, I'm pretty excited about it. But I think that kind of slowly crept into my head. And, um, you know, I had been so excited about it for like a week and a half. And Alex would ask me every day, he'd be like, when does Booktubeathon start? My husband, Alex, he was very supportive. When does Booktubeathon start? When does Booktubeathon start? And, like the day of, I went to the grocery store and I bought like three different kinds of coffee. I bought all these like special drinks. If you go back, I had like all these special drinks that I bought. Not alcoholic because I don't drink. But like special cool like teas and things like that, right? And I kind of tried to match them to the book a little bit. And I got like special snacks, but I'm on a diet now, so that's going to really suck. I was on a diet last year too, so I'll probably break it. For, but anyway, I was, you know, all this kind of stuff. And I was like excited. I had like made my like area on the front porch where I'd read all like nice and cozy. And I was all excited for it. And the weather was perfect that week and everything but like 20 minutes for book, before book two -a started and my best friend she reads like a fiend and she is so supportive of me too but like 20 minutes before it started I kind of had this moment where I was like this is really corny like you are 44 years old and you're really excited about a readathon and um I was like why are you do like this is dumb like <laughs> Nobody in your real world, like, really gets this. They don't understand your passion for books. You know, maybe it is corny. You know, most of the books you read are young adult anyway. You know, nobody knows anything that you're talking about with books in your real world. I mean, I started, like, second-guessing myself over and over and over again, right? And then midnight happened, and I, like, got on Twitter, and everybody was talking about the Twitter sprints, and I did it. And so I did it that first night. I don't know what happened be between that 20 minutes before and that next morning, but that passion kicked in for me like nobody's business. I will never be embarrassed to read a book, be nerdy, be corny. What I will never be embarrassed of what book I choose to read as long as I'm reading a book. And um, since then, you know, it's like so interesting because like Booktubeathon, I'm, t I'm being completely honest about you, with, with you about this. 
We went to Miami last year for Ultra Music Festival. You know, we went out of we we went out of the country last year once. We did all kinds of things around here. You know, I mean, we did really exciting things last year in our life. And Booktubeathon probably ranks in the top three of one of my best weeks of 2016. So I am so excited for 2017's Booktubeathon. I can't even tell you. I am. I am going into it this year with like, yes, like I am so excited to read. I am so excited to buy my treats. I'm so excited to be corny and cheesy about read about readathons because it is that much fun. It is that much fun to dedicate a week like the Summer Olympics to something that you absolutely adore, which is reading. And I am so thankful for, to Ariel Bissett and all the people that are doing the, the Twitter sprints and the other kinds of stuff and all of the, you know, the bloggers and the Instagrammers, the bookstagrammers. I'm thankful for everybody that ever puts up a readathon. I don't care what it is or who participates to put that thing together, to inspire us, to make us passionate to read, to keep our passion alive is so awesome. And I love it. And I just think it's the coolest thing, you know? And I think it's a really good lesson in life for me that I have to do what's in my heart and stop worrying about what other people think, okay? So that being said, it's time to get prepared for Booktubeathon 2017. Oh my God! So I have lots of coffee over there, but like I'm really into the Keurigs this year. I mean, I've, I've had a Keurig forever, but like I've really been using it a lot. So I'm gonna take my good Jitty Tanya up to the Meyer tonight and we're gonna go and I'm gonna go and buy some kind of hot chocolate maybe, or some kind of like tea. I gotta look through my books and see like when they take place. And then I need some healthy snacks. So I'm thinking like maybe carrots and like, I don't know, veggie dip, like a veggie plate. That would be kind of fun to have a veggie plate in my fridge when I get hungry, I can just go in there. People always ask like, what do you snack when you read? Like, I do not eat when I read. But I, um, it, for Booktubeathon, I did because I was like reading for such extensive periods. I was reading for like six and seven hours at a time, you know? That's the other thing. You need to plan your timing ahead. So like, if you know, on Wednesday, I have a PTA meeting and I'm not gonna be able to do that. I have to make dinner and have the kids in for school because school starts so ridiculously early anymore. Then Wednesday's not your day and you need to plan around that. I did not do that last year. And so I ended up doing all that. The other thing I wanted to tell you was that like, you know, I have like six or seven books I'm trying to finish before Booktubeathon. I am so proud of myself. Two days ago, I finished the last fifth grade of Emerson Elementary. Last night, I finished um, The Great American Whatever by Tim Federall, which I actually really loved as an LGBTYA book. It was really good. It was very endearing. There were some ways that he told it that I didn't like it. There was a script writing through that, which made sense to the premise of the book, but I didn't love it. Um, the other thing is... Uh, forget sleep for the week of Booktubeathon. You won't be getting any because you'll want to stay up later and later and later and read. That's what always happened to me, right? As I was getting ready to go to bed is when the best part of the book would happen, you know? Um, I don't know what other people do. I will tell you, it was too much for me to just read a book, finish it, read a book, finish it. No, ma'am. I read all seven. I would like read a little bit of one, read a little bit of another, read a little bit of one, read a little bit of another. That's how I did it. It was like a uh, book smorgasbord. <laughs> a book buffet and it was so much fun and that's how I did it and that's why I still have seven books that I haven't finished from last year because I would like read a chapter and then put it down because not all seven books that you read you're gonna love I mean it's just that's the case right but it was so much fun I'm so excited about it I don't even care if it rains every night and I sit outside um it's just gonna be the coolest thing ever I can't believe it is much too thought I was like literally I talked about this on my vlog last night I if you watch my vlog channel Peter vlogs is listed below I'm vlogging every day until I die you should watch it it's super awesome and I'm having so much fun with it <laughs> super awesome but I was talking about this on there last night that like I can remember going to the post office in May to get my passport and like renewed and for some reason I don't know why I remember that but I had like looked it up to see what the dates were for Booktubeathon and I was like God, it's the last week of July. It's like so far away. And now it's here. Now it's here. I'm so excited. And like literally my book, Tubathon books have been sitting over there for a week. Alex is like, are you going to read these books? I go, those are my book, Tubathon books. So he's excited for me too. We have a lot of shit we're doing Friday and Saturday and Sunday during the day. So I'm going to be like, I can relax in Tubathon. Tuba are you guys excited? Are you participating? You better be. Okay. None of this lame shit in the comments, but I just don't have enough time. Read one book. Just read one book that applies to... 
there is not one person out there that cannot find one book that applies to every seven challenges out there, okay? And that's what I would do if I didn't have any time, was read one book that affect, like met the needs of every, that would be kind of a cool uh, book to and and TBR, wouldn't it? One book, and just hold it up. Anyway, I am so excited. I will be vlogging through the whole thing. I will be doing the daily video. Baby, I'm gonna be in all of it, trust me, okay? I love it. So, um, I hope you guys are participating too. I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.